Welcome to Plan Watch Walk, a channel that brings you some of the best walking around. If you like what we do, why not subscribe and hit the bell? So all the planning information is on the website, planwatchwalk.guide. Enjoy the walk and catch up at the end. We start at the square in Porta Poyenza before heading through to the Silla and continuing through the pass and onwards to Cala San Vince, passing Cala Carbo on the way. Leaving Cala San Vince through the pine woods back to the Valley Pass. We then climb up to a thousand feet peak with magnificent views before descending and heading back to Porta Poyenza. We're starting off today's walk and the square of Porta Poyenza. You can see ahead of us the church and the square. A bit of noise in the background, they're doing some work on the square. Anyway, we're going to be heading up the side street, so we're looking at the church, just to the left of the church, and heading up towards the main road. The top of here, just about 100 metres ahead, we've got the bus station as well. So if you want to get the bus here for your start of your walk, we're going to be passing the bus station. So we pass the, the bus station on our right, we'll come up to the, the main bypass of Puerto Pienza, and we've got the stunning backdrop of the mountains ahead of us, which we're going to be heading through. Anyway, we want to be heading down the pavement, down the road here, just across the road, and you can see the the roundabout with the, the famous seaplane on it. So we want to be heading up now. We bear right and we head up into what's known as the Scylla. So we come up to the the boatyard just on our left, the nautical alonco. We've got the path ahead of us here. Kind of a fork in the road. We want to take the, the right hand and uh, head up ahead of us. In the head here, we've got the divide that we're going to be heading through. And then on the way back, we'll be coming over the peak, which is 315 metres just ahead of us there. Nice walk to look forward to. So just pass through the, the gate on the right and we're now still on a concrete path but we're just starting to follow the, the path work and heading away from the villas which are, which are behind us. Start to enjoy some of the scenery. As we pull away from the cellar and head up the path, this is the typical walking terrain we've got, which is uh, a bit uneven but easy enough on the foot. Just keep following the path, and this is going to take us up the side of the, the valley we can see ahead of us. And we've come along the the path through the centre here of the valley. Head of us just to the right, pretty much head of screen now. That's the hill we're going to be climbing on our way back and you're going to get tremendous views from there. Anyway, we come along to the, the path and we come to what actually appears to be a roundabout off to the right here. And we can see here I think. We've got the signage which you ahead of us, Cala Carbo. Mm 
Palace and Vinci now and we've got some sheer cliffs over there if you want to have a look at the view from there have a look at the walk on the the Boca Valley we've got on the site so ahead of us we've got the, the main area of Calas and Vinci got a bar Pepe's bar just by Pepe's bar we've got on the left here got a set of steps and up behind us just on the hillside there we've got Hostel Les Pinots which is where we want to be heading so we want to be heading up now up the steps ahead of us we've got Hostel Les Pinots and all right we've got the road ahead of us Carrera de la Ponte Negra we want to be heading up this road here and it'll sweep around go around to the left and then sweep around to the right and uh, follow this very nice path. Continuing along this pine track, got a number of villas we can just see on our right, and you're getting some really nice views of the bay. And we come to this path on our left. Let's see if I can get the signage. Here we go, Mora de Pie. Need to be following this path up and through the pines. Well, we've just come over from the trees ahead of us here, across a bit of the scrubland, and we get back onto the the path that we came down before. We get here, we we'll turn right for a short way. We're just opposite the the water hut here, and we're looking at heading pretty much straight up the mountain there to get up on the, on top. Let's see where we get to, and I'll uh, report in on the way. Not sure if you can see the goat pretty much straight ahead of us. Been following me the whole way up, looking at me as if I'm daft crawling across all of these. Bit of a scramble, but uh, doable, just you need know, to take your time. Then you can pause and stop and have a look around this magnificent view. Well, the next stretch is just up this gully here, and that should pretty well get us to the top. Not much more to go. we are. 815 metres, let's see what the view is like. So this is the view from 315 metres up. You know you're quite high when the birds are circling below you and you've passed all the goats. So our next little peak there, 311 metres. Just breathtaking. Well, we just come down across this uh, very rugged area. Pretty loose underfoot, so please be careful when you're coming down. Anyway, we're progressing well. It's taking it easy. We've got the whoops, we've got the path ahead of us just to our right there. And we've got the tops of the, the villas. I want to just continue to head down towards the villas, towards this path. And we should pick up a trail which will take us back down onto the, the road of which we have ahead of us. Well, we've climbed down off the top, that's the 311 metre peak. Underfoot, not great, there's a lot of loose screen everything around, so please, if you're doing this, be careful. We've picked up the path, which is most pleasant, a bit of a break, and then we heading down the path here and we can see forget the edge over to the right here we've got a number of pretty fabulous villas we need to walk through and then get down to the road and then a pretty straightforward walk back into Porto Pienza well, we came back down the road, to the road we turned left, 
and we're heading back into Payenta now, Porta Payenta. And the only good thing about the walk back really is you can have a look at the, the hills that we climbed. You can just see the cairn on top of the one on the right, 300 and odd metres, and then the pull back down. And uh, then we're just along the road and into Porta Payenta for a well deserved coke I think. I hope you enjoyed that walk. It was certainly, uh, it was certainly good fun. Challenging if you want to do the full walk. Um, make sure you've got good footwear on. There's a lot of loose scree up there. Hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly did. Behind us we've got the Boca Valley. We did that walk just last week which is really good. Be great if you haven't already if you could subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on future walks. Bye for now.